I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. <laughs> we don't belong here. You know, in life, maybe you are alone or lonely. When you go to the wilderness and you're like in the fucking wilderness, that loneliness hits really hard. It's terrifying. Especially on a day like this, where it's just, uh, I'm in the mist. We've been out here for some hours on trails that hardly exist at times and you get lost. Loneliness, loneliness. I don't know why I go hiking. I'm thinking about it. It used to be this thing to, to challenge me. challenging <laughs> it's kind of i don't know i feel like i need to go on or to go off mount everest or some shit and have the risk of dying but it's a it's a little much the challenge for oxygen the challenge to breathe <laughs> like there's no one for kilometers there's no there's nothing <laughs> I don't know, maybe, like, I'm fucking in it, <laughs> and it's just, it's fucking lonely, like, you need to do this kind of shit with other people, at first it'll be a challenge, and then you'll do it for the pain and then eventually even the pain won't su suffice for feeling alive. You just start to feel lonely. And here I am. I don't know. I don't fucking know. And, um... I feel like hiking after a certain amount of time um, if you just keep doing it alone it starts to become this this self-hate kind of thing maybe or maybe that's just what it is for me <laughs> um Mm. 
it's not like I do this because I love myself. <laughs> you know? Oh, fuck. I should really have two hands here. Woo! Oh, yeah. Um, uh. It's not like nature loves me. <laughs> this shit would kill you. There's no home, there's no comfort here. It's just life and death. Infinite life and death to the point of where it becomes pointless. <sighs> there's no fun in suffering alone. pointless. I don't know. If I have to if I have to give a purpose fuck <laughs> if I have to give a purpose to this life it's not fucking this let me tell you it's love and boy oh boy does it get lonely when you just when you feel like there's not a much there's not too much love for you Doing a good job following this path, not even paying attention. Wow. It's okay. This path is okay. Like, I mean, before it was a lot worse. And I always have these little things periodically to guide me if I do get lost for a moment. <sighs> like, look at this shit. Like, what the? Oh, let me go around this piercing branch. But yeah. Fuck. My foot just went. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, love. Like when I say that word, I don't even know what the fucking means. Let me just get a little bit of. Um, but yeah, you know that that nice bubbly feeling that seems to fade away with time. I think uh, that's a good purpose. Because, <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm too conscious for this shit. Um, oh shit, it's raining. A lot more. Now. But yeah, it's got to be love. Love for something, right? Oh, God. If you don't have love, this human made up fucking thing that we feel that we just give a name, love. This shit is pointless. <laughs> ah, it's so fucking pointless. That's it. So whatever you're going for, make sure it's uh, it's got something to do with love, cause that's it. You know, love. Sure, if you want to fucking love yourself, be my guest. But to be loved, that's. You know, to share this, this experience. Because I'm telling you, if I were to share this experience with someone else, it would be a totally different setting. There'd be this, this whole wash that would go over my head. 
and I'd be in a totally different world. I'd be in a different world if I just had love. Because you know, it wouldn't be the struggle or the challenge. It would be the togetherness and doing this with someone you know, that you love or that you care for and that you want to see face these challenges and you face them together. And that's a beautiful thing, you know, that might be, you know, the most beautiful thing. Just taking on the world together. Because no matter where I go, no matter the fucking cool shit I see, no matter the challenges, I've done it all alone, most of the time, like almost always. And look at this fucking, this floof. And you know, it doesn't get better. You just keep looking. You just keep looking for more cool shit. And as soon as you find the, the, the thing that's cool, you're just on to the next cool thing, right? But it's, it's the journey that's important and it's the journey that you, that you share with someone. Because man, you could just fucking float around for your entire life doing everything alone. I don't know. I've imagined it and I've felt it and it doesn't get better. Unless you start doing some drugs or something that are gonna inevitably fuck you up. Loneliness. I don't know. Dang, it's a little, a little, little dangerous. Also, video does no justice to how like steep this shit is. <laughs> um, I could fall. Ugh. All right. Cool. Like, look, it just keeps going. There's nothing, you know. I don't belong here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> There's no. I'm gonna eat this this fucking leaf. Hmm. I don't actually trust it to be honest. I'm sure it's fine. Nah. Too too crunchy. Too much too much uh, oomph behind that leaf. My teeth couldn't even break it. There's my uh, beautiful ribbons. Not even halfway this bitch. Halfway through this bitch. This path that I chose. What's wrong with me? Why do I do this to myself? Why do I torture myself? And, uh, I don't know. I also had this thought of like, me sharing these things. Ooh. Um, is it me like peacocking? Eh, I don't know what to do here. Oh, I know. Oh, it's not too bad. Boop. Just gotta, you know, you just gotta hold on to this tree and just fucking boop, do one of those. Easy. Get a little, little tickle. Um. Dude, I'm doing such a good job of staying on this path. This is a good path right now. Boop. Thank God, I was so fucking lost earlier and I had to climb some rocks and shit. It was frustrating, but, you know, I was still very far from death, you know, it's like, I was fine. It was only like 30 minutes of like walking through bush that was this tall and it's like, and my phone died and then I, yeah, I don't know, got a little, got a little lost, but hey. That's how I feel all the time. Sure, there's a path in life. This isn't my path. I didn't fucking make this. Like, where? I don't know where the fuck I am now. Look at this, like, where do I go? What is this? There's a ribbon. Huh, all of a sudden, there's no ribbon and I'm fucking lost. If only I had a companion to, you know be lost with. Isn't that all 
any of us are. We're all just lost, just fucking floating on this, this dirt ball of angry people that are trying to kill each other and destroy the planet and fuck. It's just ignorant. Anyway, the message is, here, let me just preen myself. Get some love in your life. Explore, challenge yourselves together. Have fun, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I have to go figure out where, oh, there's a ribbon. Oh, I guess we're carrying on. Let me just fucking flop into this wonderful world. There's the ribbon, but do I go this way? I gotta do some limbo, but like, where am I? Ooh, that actually does look like a path. Let's follow that. Oh, God. Ooh. Nice. All right, look at that. Oh, quick sensation of dopamine to a wider path. Oh, is this, is this life? Is this what there is to live for? Ah, oh, the beautiful fixation. Ah, oh, oh. You know, and it slowly just dissipates through your, your consciousness. And then you just keep looking for more. You just keep wandering and you just keep walking. I sure hope I'm going the right fucking way. I don't know. I, I gotta check. Just to, cause you know, there's many ways I could go here. And I want to make sure I'm going to where I need to go. All right. I'm going the right way. Wonderful. Um, so I just went to the, the emperor and then some other mountainous rock. Look at this. Ah. I love my barefoot shoes and the, the wet. My goodness. Look at all that sword fern. Wow. Um, my goodness, the heck? Okay, where was I? Yo, is this even a path? What is this? What, what am I doing? This feels very non-path-like. Um, yeah, purpose of life. There isn't one, so we got to make one up. I don't know. For me, I've just come... Dude, where the fuck am I? What is this? Where am I going? Um... Hey, that looks like a path to me. <laughs> Noise. Fuck, that's deep. Ugh. Ugh. Boom! And they said this was a hard trail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even tired, and I'm already, you know, I'm going home at this point. Well, kind of. I am shit. I might have went the wrong way. One moment. All right, I'm back. <sighs> Still going the right way. <laughs> oh, so I can continue. Continue. Um my wandering. I gotta make a little like, mm, kind of turn eventually. Um, just cause if I were to go straight, that's, ah, uh, there's a sign here. Oh, the convenience. Oh my goodness. Oh. There she is. Look at this. Empress Mountain Trail. Ah, this is the one I was initially going to go on but I decided to go other ways. And now, I, you know, I just wanted the extended tour, really. So I did one loop of some other emperor and whatnot. Um, man, that sure is a... Uh... God, it does not help. <sighs> Whatever, get it some, some glow. Ah, oh, this is nice. Gosh. You know, I bet this guy did some drugs. 
Oh, the places you'll go, today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Dr. Seuss. Thanks, man. What a, what a wonderful artist, you know? Gosh, that's awful. I hate this, this glare. Hmm. There's just no fixing it. Okay. <sighs> Sometimes you just hear these noises and you, you wonder what else is out there. I don't know. I say that a lot, but I do know. I just wish I knew more. But the more I know, the more, the more terrified of reality I become. You know, it just gets to the point of knowing too much. And to be able to empathize with this knowledge or whatever. Um, start to see shit differently. And life just isn't that blank slate it was when you were a child. Even if, even if it is terrifying for some of us, it's still mysterious. For anyone who says they have it all figured out or there there is a a point to any of this they're wrong because <laughs> we make our own you know realities or we try to you know I know a lot of people are are going through a lot of shit right now in the world. There's so much loss and and death and war. I don't understand it. I don't understand any of this. You know, because this greed that's on this planet, it's literally killing everyone. It's killing everyone and everything. And it makes me so frustrated. You know, that it, it, uh, it makes me feel hopeless, you know, like I, I can't. And then there's people that are like, hey, never say never, but just as one person, one individual with all these worldly problems, for me to fix all these problems right now, I would literally have to be every single person on the planet and make that instant change. Because we've destroyed so much. And everyone just wants money. Time is money. I'm a bird. I think that was some kind of pheasant. Um, yeah, time is money for a human. It's all it is. Everything is materialism and money, money. There's no sustainable. Uh, there's no sustainability when you're a human being. You know, oh, sustainable fishing. Oh, sustainable forestry. It's all bullshit. Okay? It's not even those sustainable fisheries, all those labels, they're just trying to sell you something. They don't give a, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know, when they're like, 
can't guarantee anything. It's just like uh, sustainable forestry. As long as the human population is forever expanding and growing, which it seems to be, and to imagine all of the trees we've already cut down and we've, you know, we've used them. These trees being, you know, hundreds or over a thousand years old. And we've, you know, we've cut down the world in 150 years, 200 years. There's no sustainable forestry. Bull fucking shit. Sorry, I'm being really negative right now. And this is a pretty, it's a pretty place. <sighs> anyway, that's me philosophizing on life. Thanks for sitting and enjoying me rant. I'm just gonna walk for a bit. Also, me talking into my phone has kind of washed away that feeling of loneliness away. How sad is that? <laughs> wow. I feel like I'm actually talking to someone. But here I am, talking to myself for potential future humans to, uh, to listen. Hmm. Damn. Just keeps going up. Okay, bye. Gotta waft it. Hello everyone, welcome back to my my wonderful adventure here. Um had a little snack. And it just it just keeps going up. I don't know. Like <laughs> just keeps going up. Also, I didn't stop on the snack. I kept walking while I ate it. Can't have that lactic acid building up in my legs. You know, that's for later. Don't want any pain. Um, Going back to the point of, I have little love in my life. Sure. Um, sorry, just cleaning my mouth with my tongue. Um, that's not me saying that I have no one to talk to. Because I'm sure I have plenty of people that I could talk to. Plenty. Um, gotta stop saying, um. But. When I talk to people, I want to be understood. Right? And I don't feel understood by most people. I don't know, I feel like most people aren't very understanding. And even when they do try to empathize, they don't really have that capacity of empathy. So they just create this false presence of understanding where most people would fall for it, I'm sure, you know. But, hmm, I want to be understood. And in this world of 
superficial sensation. Me, someone who's just constantly in this state of deep thought to the point of being fucking crazy. For people to empathize with that. It's difficult. When everyone is just slowing down, drinking or, um, you know, doing substances that slow them down, make them feel good in the moment. <sighs> to when you are there, conscious, without any outside substance influence, you're kind of just empty. And that's why alcoholism is a thing and marijuana of a habitual <coughs> drug. It just becomes this, look at this. Ooh. What a path. Um, And I don't, I don't do that. I'm, I'm here to go faster and to think more, to understand more, to learn more. When everyone else is just so fucking slow, they just sit there in their, their momentary dopamine and they just fucking, and they just, they enjoy though. That's the thing, they enjoy. Maybe that's, maybe that's the point of life. To give in to pleasure. This easy pleasure. To the point of so many people reaching out and grabbing it that it, it becomes a problem. I don't know, alcohol is fucking awful. It is the worst thing. To have ever existed. Ever. Done. I'll be at a table. No offense. I'll be at a table. Or, you know, any kind of setting. And I'll be the only sober one. Or the only person who's conscious. And I just feel fucking alone. It's weird. Watching everyone around me just give in to their own emptiness. And to sit there, myself, desiring something more, some, some more connection. Does that make sense? Some more connection? I guess so, but... <laughs> um, yeah. Let's go to this side. Little sign. Holy. No horses, no biking, hiking. That's me. Empress Mountain Summit Trail, 400 meter summit. Look at this, what the hell? Guess I'm, guess I'm going this way. <sighs> Look at all that mist. Very misty. 
Pretty misty here in Souk. Okay, I'm gonna go into the the void. Bye. Um, actually, it's quite easy, so I'll keep recording. It's nothing like what I was hiking before. <laughs> oh gosh. I mean, it is a bit of an incline, but eh, nothing. Um, that way. Am I an angry person? Am I depressed? Or am I just alive and self-aware and conscious? I feel like anyone who's conscious and who's actually there, sentient, how could they not be so depressed with, with the state of the world right now? Maybe the goal is to find a group of substance abusers and drink for everyone just to drink until nothing matters and then nothing will get better and everyone will die. Is that, is that the, I mean, that's what's been happening, so. <sighs> we just give in all to the wrong things. Man. I'm almost at the top. Some, some cell tower up there. Wow, what a lovely sight to see. Humanity just, oh, and a Band-Aid. Damn, man, rock climbing over here. Okay, I'll be back. Whew. Yo, look at this abyss. Now I just gotta go back. It took almost four hours to get here. The longest part was the other mountainous area. Now I gotta make my way back. I'm just in the clouds at this point. The superficial clouds. Oh, what's over here, actually? No, look at all this weird shit. What is this? Electricity. I have full bars here, so that's pretty cool. My gosh. I could live up here now, right? Oh, it's like a door handle. I wonder where that goes. To the future. portal you got a question how many of these humans here huh Boston sucks lovely fuck COVID Great. What else we got? Hmm. Whatever. Oof. I don't know. 
just looks even more mystical over here. I bet it'll be the same view. Oh, is it snow? What the heck? Snow! Thank you for hanging out. Damn. Man, technology. Good and bad, but mostly bad. Well, I mean, I don't know. There are two, you know, very polar opposite sides to technology and this extension of social media filling everyone's minimal desires to connect it made us a lot more disconnected I don't even know what that's like <laughs> I was born, born too late okay, toodles also, another realization is that most people my age, they're already settled or are settling down uh, with someone. And a lot of the friends that I make, they're, they're all older than me. It's like either they're like fucking... Like, I'll have, I've had gaming friends, and most of them are younger than me, and then the rest are older than me. So, I don't know, it's weird, you know? We're at very different stages in our lives, you know? Like, maybe they're just graduating high school or something, and I'm kind of like a mentor, or just someone to talk to that's experienced more. But, you know, it's that's ooh, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, this, uh, it's like a three-foot massage going down this, especially in barefoot shoes. Um, so I'm, I'm somewhere in the middle right now, you know? I don't have my person. I have some ideas, or an I one idea, um, but I don't know. I sure hope so. Very, I don't know. Anyway, um... Yeah, people are settling down. They got their own lives. They're busy with shit, right? <laughs> it's weird. You know, people are already... They already have families of their own. <sighs> and here I am, just playing in the woods like a kid. A big kid. And I know I'm not the only one. I know there are a lot of lonely people without a home or, I don't know. But to have that realization that, I don't know, maybe that uh, gives a reason to my, my lonesome. Yeah. Everyone that I was close with in the past or a lot of people that were meaningful to me. They all, they're all in like some kind of relationship where they just give all of their time to that. So, hmm, something to think about. And if you're, if you're younger, I'm, I'm 24 right now. Um, but if you're younger than me and you know, maybe you're just, you're still in high school or you're just coming out of high school or you finished um, university or college. Like once you're out of that, you're, you're kind of, you know, you, you slowly 
lose that forced socialization. And those friends that you knew, they're all busy, right? They'll just become busy. And then if you don't have your person, whatever, um, you'll, you'll feel that loneliness too. I'm sure of it. And you'll just wonder like, what happened? <laughs> like, is there something wrong with me? I don't know. Hey, time, it comes for everyone, you know? There's, no one is an exception. And as much as you can prepare yourself or be ready, you're never ready enough.